Hey guys, welcome to Live by God Ministries. This is your girl Hannah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have a word for you guys today, okay? Um, today I was in, 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 in prayer this morning, very heavily with the Heavenly Father, with Yeshua, with the Holy Spirit, and my Heavenly Family. And I was led to remind everybody about who Yeshua is, what Yeshua did for us, how he did it. And um, I just really want you guys to take heed to this word, okay? So I was in the word and... Um, One second, guys, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I didn't want the music to be over me. Okay, so when I was in the Word and I was praying, I was praying so hard to, to where God, Yeshua, our Lord and our Savior, presented what He did for us, okay? Now, I want to read this coming out of the scriptures of, um, of excuse me, the book of John, uh, chapter, uh, chapter 10, where Yeshua explains who who he is to us, okay? What he's done for us today, right? Um, so if everybody can turn to the book of John and we're gonna come out of chapter 10, okay? So I'm gonna read it <clears throat> and then let's talk about it, okay? And very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he has brought out all his own he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Yeshua used his figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Listen guys, therefore Yeshua said again, very truly i tell you i am the gate for the sheep very truly i tell you i am the gate for the sheep all who have come before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep have not listened to them i am the gate whoever enters through me will be saved they will come in and out, excuse me, they will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good sheep. The good sheep lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. Listen, 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 guys. And verse 11 again, I am the good shepherd. This is Yeshua, okay? The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. He runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. 
the man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. He's just in there to stand in there just to do what the shepherd would do for temporary, just looking out, just looking out. But he cares nothing for the sheep. These are my words. He cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. Yeshua was speaking to us. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. He's speaking to us. He's speaking to us. He's speaking to us. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me, listen guys, just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep. Listen to this, okay? I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I have other sheep that is not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. He is not leaving anyone behind. Listen, I must bring them also. I have other sheep, verse 16, I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. He laid it down to take it up. He laid it down to take it up. He laid it down to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down down of my own accord so no matter what the romans or anybody thought that they did it was destined he did this on his own he laid down his life for his sheep to take it up again so he laid it down and he took it up and he says no one takes it from me verses 18 no one takes it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. Listen guys, listen. Yeshua is saying that he has the authority to lay it down and he has the authority to take it up. This command, it was a command. Be, listen, it was a command that he received from his father, the heavenly father, the great I am, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel. He received this command from his father so he knew what his assignment was. His assignment was to lay down his life for the sheep, to raise it up again. He was given the authority to do this. It was a command by the heavenly father, his father, the great I am. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep that knows his voice, that know him, that is acknowledges him. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, listen, 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 listen. Let's stay right there for a hot second. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. He's hired. Okay, he's hired. 
but he doesn't care for the sheep. He doesn't have the love that the shepherd has for the sheep. He is hired. The sheep, the she, excuse me, the shepherd is the owner. But you know how you have some people that you hire and they don't really care. They just want what they could get, basically the money, you know, and get paid and go. I did what I was supposed to do. Now let me get paid and let me go. So he's a hired hand, but he doesn't have love for the sheep. Okay, I'm in for the however many hours you have me in, but I'm gone, you know. But whatever happens to sheep, it happens. I have no heart for them. But Yeshua, the shepherd, has the heart for the sheep that he laid his life down for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd, does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. He's looking out for his own life. He's looking out for his own good. He's out. He's not doing anything to protect the sheep. So when that happens, the wolf attacks the, the flock and scatters it. Scatters the flock all over the place. But when the shepherd is there, he lays down his life for the sheep by protecting the sheep. Standing in front before the sheep. Looking eye to eye with that wolf to scare that wolf off. Because the wolf comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Yeshua stands in front. To guard the sheep, the gate. To guard the sheep. Will you do it? No, you will not lay your life down for the sheep. But he was commanded to come here to lay his life down for the sheep. And did so. By the great I am. He was, uh, he gave, he was given the authority by the great I am, the great I am, the great I am, his father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel. Will you do it? No, but be the sheep that hears the voice of the lamb, the shepherd Hear the voice from the shepherd when he calls your name. When he calls your name. Know his voice when he calls your name. Know his voice. That led me to go to Isaiah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 43. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. This is what the Lord says. The Lord says this. You are mine. I summoned you by name. You are mine. I am the good shepherd coming out of John. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep that are his. You are mine. I know I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. He has other sheep that he wants, and that he does not want to leave behind. They are not a part of the sheep pen that he has right now, but he wants them as well. 
no soul left behind. Just like when Moses was shepherding the sheep that he was in charge of. Let's go there. Let's go there, there to, to the chapter in, um, in Exodus. He was tending to the flock of Jethro. It's, chap it's uh, Exodus chapter 3. Now Moses was tending to the flock of Jethro. And one of those, um, one of the sheep had separated from, it was a total of 100, and separated from the, 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 the flock. Okay, leaving 99 behind. Then the one, well, Yeshua, that was one of, uh, of Yeshua's parables. If a shepherd sees that one of the sheep, sheep if he has a total of 100 separate from the flock one of them separate from the leaving 99 behind what would the shepherd do he would leave the 99 behind to go and get the one that has separated from them, right this is what Yeshua is speaking about when he says that I have the pen that I have right now but there is more sheep that he wants as well he says it right here in John chapter 10 verse 16 I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen I must bring them also so he doesn't want to leave any sheep behind that's you that's me that's all he, he says I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen I must bring them also they too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd so he wants to gather all the sheep together that will hear his voice that will listen to his voice are you one of his sheep are you willing to stop and listen to his voice be that sheep that he's gathering he wants to gather all and not leave one sheep behind listen to you oh hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you yeshua thank you holy spirit Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray that you guys are hearing this word. And I pray that you go back to this chapter, chapter 10 in John, the book of John chapter 10. And just read it and receive it and be that sheep that he's calling. Hear his voice when he calls. For he is the shepherd. And he and we are the sheep. He says it here. Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. He's the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have no list have not listened to them. But the sheep have not listened to them. Let me read this again, okay? Yeshua says, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate. Listen, see it. He's the gate, okay? For the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. Okay, please listen. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He is the way. Okay, he's the gate. Through him, we are saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture they will come in and go out and find pasture 
I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. What is the meaning of pasture? Green grass, all the crops and all these great things that is that is presented by him through him, that's created by him. I am the gate. He's the gate. He is the way. He's the way. He's the way. Um, I really want that to sit with you guys and I pray. And, and, and just remember when I say he is the way, that is a capital W. There is no way, no other way but through Yeshua. Okay? There's no other way but through Yeshua. Okay? He is the way. He's the light, he's the life, and I'm talking about a capital W, okay, not to be ignored, okay? So guys, um, I don't know, I'm reading my old notes, okay? Holy Spirit says, when Yeshua came, everything was taken away with him. That's deep. Okay, that's one of my notes from, my goodness, uh, November 17, 2023 at 10.45 p.m. God has, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. God spoke to me. So remember this, guys, okay? Who Yeshua is and what he did. He laid down his life for each and every one of us, okay? The authority that he has to lay it down, the authority to raise it up, Okay? was given and it was a command by our heavenly father the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob the god of israel he got he received that command like he knew what his assignment was to come here to do and he did just that nothing more nothing less he did just that okay uh guys i pray that you guys receive this word i pray it hits you in your in your spirit and i pray that your spirit spiritual being is opened up to this word to to realize and recognize and acknowledge who yeshua is and what he did for each and every one of us okay so i love you guys but know that your heavenly father the creator of the heavens and the earth the great i am the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob the god of israel abba father loves you dearly un with an unconditional unconditionally loves you okay so just remember that I know that my video kind of like went a little bit long. I thought it wasn't going to, but as the Holy Spirit leads is as, as, as I, as is, as I have to go. So you guys take care. God bless you guys. Uh, know that your girl here, Hannah loves you guys so much. And I am so grateful for this ministry led by God ministries. And I pray that it leads you. And I pray that this word touches you. And I pray that you guys don't see me, but you see the Heavenly Father. Don't hear me, but hear the Heavenly Father when I speak, okay? Because um, I asked him to utilize me as a vessel. And I am his servant to serve him. So I love you guys. God bless you guys. And take care.